I know Hammond isn't out yet, but I don't care. This series was just about to be done. I was about to finish it, and then Jeff had to drop this shit on me. I'm gonna do it one way or another, okay? I don't even care. It's happening. Welcome to Overwatch. The game we pick only one hero refuse to switch. We lose the game, and I break my balls. And today, we're gonna do just that with... <laughs> Hammond. His name is Hammond. Deal with it. Code name? Space Hamster. The ball rolling, air slamming, mind laying hamster tank known for such actions as accidentally launching himself off a ledge and rolling away at the first sign of trouble. But what is Hammond's story? Hammond was one of the animals being tested on the moon along with people like Winston. Like many of the other animals, Hammond ended up becoming incredibly intelligent and had amazing problem solving and mechanical skills. The scientists generally had a hard time keeping track of him as he ran around certain areas learning to be a mechanic. During the massive uprising that the gorillas did on the moon, Winston had a plan to escape to Earth, and Hammond hitched his mechanical hamster ball to the bottom as a means to escape. He landed in Australia, and has since been working on a crazy new machine out of his hamster ball to have all sorts of fun with. He's a mech-building hamster. That's just amazing, man. What is he like in-game? Well, so far, he's actually pretty interesting. Now, most of the gameplay you're gonna see is public test build gameplay with no hero limits. So, it's basically 90% Hammond 100% of the time. But spending a couple hours playing him, he feels like a doomfist of tanks. High learning curve, high skill ceiling, and very strong if played well, and pretty bad if not. First things first, he has a hit-scan weapon on a tank. Now, it's not a super high damage one, but it is not a bad gun. It does decent damage and can really chunk if you're at a close range, but you'll probably be spending most of the time in ball mode in order to set up. Surprisingly, the ball attacks do pretty serious damage. High speed rolling does 50 damage, and your slam attack does 100 at the center, cascading out by 10 damage a meter. So you can actually really bring the hurt if you try. Plus, your shield is insane as well. Survivability just in general is crazy good on Hammond. With ball rolling away, 600 HP, and a massive shield, he can just survive crazy amounts of gunfire. But at the same time, you still need to be somewhat careful. You are kind of Roadhog-like, where because you're mostly all health, you can just feed ultimate charge. You don't have a barrier or wall to stop enemies, so you're always taking damage. That could be a problem. So let's break down Hammond's abilities. Do note, since this is the public test, these values can change. Like all heroes, with any patch, ever. Symmetra. His primary is his cannon move. Hit scan weapon, five damage a shot, 25 rounds per second, 80 ammo, boom, riddled. Next is his grapple move. 20 meters per second, eight meter range, five second cooldown, boom, hooked. Next is his ball move. 10 meter per second movement speed, one second cooldown, 50 damage in high speed, can reload in ball form, boom, bald. Next is his slam move. 100 damage, 10 damage per meter, 10 meter AOE, 10 second cooldown, boom, slammed. Next is his shield move. 100 barrier, 100 extra per enemy, 7 meter range, that's like a duration, 15 second cooldown, boom, shielded. Finally is mine move. 130 damage each, 50 health of mine, 6 meter AOE, 20 second duration, 1400 charge points, boom, area denied. <laughs> so, like I said prior, Hammond is like the Doomfist of tank. Being the Doomfist of Tanks means he is going to take a lot more time to play than the average Solar 76 main. What Hammond can provide over a lot of other things is a solid threat. Everything about him makes him a large threat, even though he may not be the biggest threat. He's a distraction. A giant, annoying distraction. Watching him fly through an area doing 50 damage to everyone he boops and then slamming the floor doing even more damage. Shielding himself for massive values and spraying you down with his guns makes him consistently on your radar. But in reality, unless you're going to be a god tier Hammond main, that's just all there is to annoy them. He rarely will hit a midair perfect slam. He probably won't bounce into you too often, and I doubt he will stick around long enough to fully kill you before getting scared, balling up, and leaving again. He's like this flanker character that, don't get me wrong, could definitely mess you up against a chance, but against a full team who stick together and coordinate is little more than just a big threat. Hammond screams, look at me, look at me, 90% of the time before balling out of there once again. The thing is, though, is that what he's like to me for now? Someone who's only played him a little bit, a couple hours. I want to see what he's going to be like for pro players. 
I want to see a one-trick Hammond main and see what golly destruction they can bring upon this game. Because for now, he's a distraction, but give enough time, he can turn into a pretty crazy hamster. Rolling in, 50 damage, slamming perfectly, 100 damage, then you just mop up a 200 HP hero. Boom, the healer's dead. And then when everyone turns around to kill you, you ball out of there. Or perhaps you're one of those guys that just grapples in right on top of enemy team and then slams on them, then boom, minefield, and then the entire team gets wiped. There is a lot of options Hammond can have. There are a lot. And it's really exciting. Honestly, to see what he can do in this situation. For now, he's a big distraction. And I think that's what he's going to be for the majority of players. But I have a feeling you're going to see some Hammond montages very soon. And they're going to be pretty gross. Obviously, don't have a PSA for Hammond mains. But I'll leave you with one thing. Like I said, he's a doofus of tanks. So don't play him in ranked. Quick play. And a lot of quick play. Get good. Before you kill people's elos. For butt touching, in my experience, Hammond butt touches low health immobile characters. So people like Bakriz and Yada Mercy Sword 76 and Widowmaker. A combination of his shields and his ability to stick on them and really take them out at a close range can definitely cause problems. For people that butt touch Hammond, Reaper, Fashion, and Roadhog. Now Reaper and Roadhog with the two I had the biggest problem fighting. Reaper just tears you up. And that's obvious though, it's Reaper. He's supposed to do that. But Roadhog also tore you up because one, shotgun, but also he just grab you in the ball mode and stop you in your obnoxious tracks. Bastion might be the biggest counter though. You don't do nearly enough damage to handle Bastion. Not in the slightest. And without any form of barrier, he is gonna shred through you. If he can tear through a Reinhardt shield like he does, I honestly think he's going to just completely crush you as well. You can't just Roadhog and hook him out of his little turret form. You just got to sit there and try to shoot him and he will outgun you. People who wanted to be dicks during the public test pretty much all played Bash and destroyed me consistently. Now, unfortunately, at the time of making this video, all of his cosmetics were not quite out yet. I don't know if they're going to be on the public test before they are on the live servers. But at the time of making this video, they were not out yet. So if they're out when this video gets uploaded, well, your boy got memed on by Blizzard. Again, damn it, Jeff. But anyway, that is Hammond. He is exciting. Really exciting, honestly. I, I'm... I like him. I'm a tank man, but I like the skill ceiling. I like what he can do. I like the excitement of it. I, I think I'm going to really play a lot more Hammond. I was always a Roadhog Reinhardt main, but I was getting really into the whole Orisa thing. And for healers, I really like to play Mercy mostly, but I'm also getting into Moira because I kind of like that skill ceiling. I kind of like what you can do. And I think Hammond's going to be a pretty fun addition to the roster. Anyway, this has been the second to last one trick out in Overwatch. We got one more. Mama Mercy. One more. And how fitting it is that the character like Mercy that gets the most abuse by her teammates is the final one. All right, everyone. Have a wonderful day. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.